delay recording will activate once the push button has been pressed and started. So for this logo, I'll configure the delay start of 30 minutes. Once that 30 minutes is up, it will then begin recording every five minutes. So once these logging parameters have been configured, we now move on to the alarm settings. There's an upper and lower alarm. These can be set to the temperatures that you want to be notified when they're out of specification. So if you want to be notified for an upper alarm limit when it goes out at eight degrees, the logger will flash red when the logger goes out of eight degrees. Now you can also add in a cumulative or consecutive alarm. So this will mean that after two consecutive readings, so after 10 minutes, the logger will display a red flashing light. You don't have to select that. You can unselect it and just have, as soon as it goes out of eight degrees, it will flash red. Now the same applies for the lower limit. If we were to select the lower limit as two degrees, it will go out and flash red once it's below two degrees, or you can select the consecutive or accumulative alarms again. You can also add in further upper and lower limits and they will display red as well once they're out of there. Now once you're happy with the settings, we can press configure. Now during this time that I've been configuring the logger, it says logger not found. Now what I can do is press configuration and you can see now that it has found the logger that I've got plugged in and the serial number. This will happen for a number of different reasons. If you press repeat configuration, it will configure to the exact settings that we've just done and you can unplug the logger and it's now ready to use. Now, if you have additional loggers that you would like to configure to the exact same settings, you can unplug, unplug the current logger, plug in the new one and press repeat configuration again and ensure that this serial number changes here.